enjoy taking a little tour around the thrift shop with me. They had a lot of really cool things this time, and I did manage to pick up a few things. Um, some things are vintage, and some things are just regular kitchen and tableware decor. First thing I want to show you is this bunny planter I got. Use him for the rest of the Easter season, and then I think I'm just going to leave him out for spring as well. It's not too Eastery. Put a plant in his little wheelbarrow. I also found some nice neutral baskets. I could stain this one as well. It's wood and wicker on the top. And then I found this basket as well. This one is really nice. I haven't found a small one in this shape before. And it's got nice little feet. Just put some flowers in him. Maybe greenery. If I wanted to use them next year for Easter. Just put some eggs or some of those um, carrots in him. And then I did find some more planners. This glass one I thought was very pretty. It'd be nice with rocks in it and moss, or if I want to do real flowers in it. Those were each 50 cents. And then I found this little creamer. I'm going with a more green and pinks and creams and browns to decorate for spring. So I found some things to incorporate with that. This one I just got because it's very pretty. A navy blue. This will be good for everyday decor. And also this to put flowers in. Just a plain white, small mouth. And then on the kitchen theme, just a nice glass jar to put anything in. I like that it's short, so it can fit really anywhere. I also found this canister that I just love so much. It's gray and pink and cream. Really pretty stoneware. And then to match with him, at Goodwill I saw this one. It has almost the same pink and blue. It's a tad bit different. I guess gray. And those were each a dollar. I was really excited to see this next thing. So I've been looking for these for my hutch and I haven't really found one for a good price at the consignment store. For bigger ones, they're like $30. So this one was just a dollar. It is on the smaller side, but that's okay because it'll fit in a crock really nicely. I just love the color of it. It's nice and weathered. So that is something vintage that I found. And then I almost didn't see this, but I went usually go down the aisles and do a scan and then come back through before I'm done and look again because you, you always miss something. And I found this Pyrex mushroom bowl. And I just love this bowl. It's very neutral. That one was 99 cents. I think it'll just go all year round. 
also on that same shelf I found this little cheese cloche now it is pretty worn obviously people cut on it but I am gonna do a little DIY with that and I think I'm gonna try to make it more of a wooden kind of look so we'll see how that goes and I also found some mud glass another planner And I found another one of these. I'm trying to collect a few of these to go together. I just think these are so pretty. Speaking of another pretty thing I found is this platter. I love the florals on this. Salem heirloom. It's got a lot of nice crackling in it. It's an off, off brown color that has those greens and yellows and browns in it that really go with a lot of things. So I saved my best for last. I feel like no one really buys these anymore, but I really, really love these ones. These little doilies. And they came together, white and like a lighter green. And I wanted these to go underneath books to put on my hutch. And I'll show you the books that I found. Let's start with my favorite one. It's this vintage Better Homes and Gardens garden book. And look at how beautiful the cover of this is. I just love it so much. And it looks just great on a shelf. The doilies matches perfectly. The back of the book is even pretty. Beautiful colors. Not, and, and you know, this is very useful too. It tells you everything about all different kinds of flowers and vegetables. And how to prune them. It's really, really nice. This is from 1968. Also to go with that, another Better Homes and Gardens book. This one's about vegetables. It's just a thin one, but it looks nice still on top of it. And then another book that I was really excited about. Is this Beatrix Potter book? Really pretty color as well. Match perfectly. And nothing is impossible, the story of Beatrix Potter, 1988. How cute is this book? color of the book got me, the contents of the book. Love everything about all of these. And then to go along with kitchen and gardening theme, I came across these coasters, which I thought were just so pretty. Just love the picture in them. Little church bird houses, pears in a basket. A little daisy up there. So cute. I believe these are coasters, but I think I'm just going to use them as pictures. And 
The last thing that I picked up were these really pretty pictures. And I just love the photo that's in these. So kitchen farmhouse, little crocs, and the duck, apples, flowers, so pretty. And this one's very similar. Books on the shelf. It's such a nice picture. And I even like the green around it. I think that'll really match very nicely. And I don't think I'm going to do anything to these. I'm just going to keep the frame as is. They're so nice. They were each a dollar, but they were fit on the 50% off little rack that they have. So that was a really great deal. All right, that is everything that I got from the thrift store and the Goodwill. Thank you so much for coming along with me. And I really hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I got. I think I found some really great treasures. I especially love the last few things that I showed you. And if you would like to see more thrift store hauls like this from me, please give me a like and subscribe. And I will talk to you all later and see you soon. Bye.